Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Just last week, we heard Joe Biden talk about his dream for stricter gun control in America. He called the crisis an international embarrassment. Listening to Biden try to put his thoughts and words together is an international embarrassment, but that's separate. He talked about gun control in terms of Ghost guns, their term, ghost guns, wants that more regulated, wants pistol stabilizing braces looked at. He says it helps the shooters make a more accurate shot. Very confusing why anybody would not want that. He wants to empower the states with more red flag laws, very dangerous to gun owners. And he nominated anti-gun David Chipman to head the ATF. We push back. Immediately, we push back. And across the states, they are pushing back one after another. So that's what this video is about. We don't want some of the positive 2A news to get overlooked by a senile president who is very confused when it comes to guns. He just wants more government control of them. Let's start right here with Remington Ammunition. Remington Ammunition was acquired by Vista Outdoors. There was a lot of restructuring that took place. It took that ammo off of the shelves during the restructuring process. Vista Outdoors owns Federal, CCI, a host of others, and they claim they've been pumping ammo out 24-7, but with the absence of Remington Ammunition, that just adds to the shortage. It's a crisis. Very expensive as well. Well, now... Remington is up and running 24-7, and hopefully that ammo will make its way to our local gun stores, hopefully ease the tension that has been taking place with ammo, the expense, and everything else. We've got a major manufacturer that is now pumping out ammo, and that would definitely help the current situation, which is awful. Arkansas state senators approved the Sovereignty Act of 2021, which means that Arkansas is null and void from any federal gun laws. They even took it one step further and said that law enforcement would be subject to penalties if they work with federal authorities in terms of gun laws. That is some good news. Tennessee, Iowa, and South Dakota are now permitless carry states. They passed it at the state level, each state's governor signed it, and now they no longer need the government's permission to carry a gun. Let's hope that trend continues as those three states join many others that are permitless carry. Senate Republicans in Missouri are working on legislation to reject Biden's executive gun law orders. The Ohio governor signed Stand Your Ground Law. Now, this took place in early January, but it's still worth mentioning because nobody should be forced to flee from a criminal. They should be able to stand their ground and use whatever force necessary to defend themselves, and they can now do that in Ohio. One of my favorite governors out there is West Virginia's Jim Justice. This guy is a clear model of what 2A should look like. He was encouraging the people of Virginia, after all those regulations were taking place in that state, to move to 2A friendly West Virginia. He said, you won't have to deal with that here. But what he recently did was sign into law eliminating tax on guns. I think that's outstanding. And furthermore, he gave tax breaks to firearm manufacturers that are in West Virginia or that will move to West Virginia and I hope that works and that more gun manufacturers move to West Virginia to enjoy those tax breaks. The Arizona governor signed the Second Amendment Freedom Act which protects gun owners from federal gun control laws. Many counties in Utah have declared themselves to a sanctuary counties. Now I'm told that they're working on that same type of legislation at the state level. Same with Texas. Governor Greg Abbott is not about to let Biden's gun control dictate to the people of Texas how they have to be regulated. And so I think they're going to get it done in both of those states, and those would be huge victories. And every time we have all these states push back against the federal government, saying we're not going to uh, accept your regulations, I think it's, it's very powerful, and I would like to see this domino effect take place with many. And do you notice that they're all Republicans that are doing this? 
The last thing I want to mention is this. Do you ever notice when Democrats get in front of the camera and they talk about the need for gun control that they become the greatest firearm salesman in America? Well, that is happening right now. In February and a little bit in March, we saw a dip in gun sales, primarily because of the lack of inventory and increased prices. But ever since Biden gave that speech last week, gun sales have been increased big time. You know, people are rushing to their gun stores, rushing to gun shows, getting whatever they can. Great for the manufacturers. I'm sure the prices are still very much increased, but people are buying guns left and right, setting records once again. And thanks to Biden, it, I, I love this opposite effect. You talk about bans and all of a sudden people are buying guns. People say, get away, you can. And that's what's happening right now. I wanted to make this video so that we could see that a lot of good things are happening across this country. You know, Biden is just a, a puppet figure out there who can't even put a couple words together. He's, he's being led by strings. And we'll see where it goes, but our gun rights groups are fighting against it. States, one by one, are fighting against it. And we, as a collective people, need to fight against this and do whatever we can to get the word out. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.